Okay, so now I'm going to get started on doing the montage for our um, front cover. Uh, before I get going though, uh, what I'm going to do is actually change the background um, layer of our document from white to black, just because it's going to look good for the purposes of the activity we're working on. Um, first up, I'm going to press D on my keyboard to return the foreground and background colors to um, their defaults. And now I'm going to hold down Command A to select um, the entire canvas. Uh, that's Control A on a PC. Now, here's a really, really cool trick. Um, holding down the Option key, that's the Alt key on a PC, and pressing Delete allows you to fill a selected area with the foreground color. Conversely, you can hold down the Command key and press Delete, and what that does is fills the selected area with the background color. Uh, I'm just going to hold down Option and Delete to fill that with black. All right, um, I'm going to also hold down Command D to deselect that area. Um, Radio. Uh, now what I'm going to do is actually start to um, bring some elements in to my front page. First of all, I'm going to start off with the um, enormous floating head. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go to File and Open. Uh, there are a number of ways that you can put things into a Photoshop document, um, but this happens to be one of my favorite. Um, I'm going to grab the um, photograph of our cover actress. Um, now I'm going to select the layer in the Layers palette and just drag it into um, my cover document. Now you'll notice to start off with um, that this image is a little bit small. Um, in order to make it larger, um, what I'm going to do after I've closed this window um, is hold down Command T. Um, you can also go to Edit and Free Transform to do this. And while I'm scaling the photo, I'm going to be holding down the Shift key. Uh, this means that um, the proportions of my photograph uh, will stay the same and I won't end up with a, a hideously uh, skinny uh, face. Uh, when I'm done, I'm going to hit the Enter key to apply those changes. Now, um, with this front cover, uh, one thing that I am going to do is apply a layer mask to this image um, so that I can sort of gradually fade it out. To do that, I'm going to go to the Layer menu, I'm going to drop down to Layer Mask, and I'm going to select Reveal All this time because I like to be able to see what I'm masking. Now you'll notice over here in the Layers palette, um, I've now got a layer mask applied to this layer. I'm going to select the gradient tool um, by pressing G on my keyboard. Now um, we've already set our foreground and background colors to um, black and white and the gradient that you want to select if you click up in the option bar here um, is this first standard foreground to background preset. Okay so if it's not set to that automatically that's the one you want to pick. Now what I'm going to do with the gradient tool, um, just make sure that the, the mode of the gradient is set to normal. I'm going to just draw a straight line moving up. Now you can try this as many times as you like, you, you'll just keep going over um, what you've already done and what I'm going to do here is just um, gradually fade um, our floating head in like that. Now I'm going to do something very similar with um, another image for the front cover. Um, I'm going to go to File and Open. And now I'm going to grab um, just a picture of um, some trees that are going to go on the front cover. Once again, to put it into my Photoshop document, I'm going to open it uh, and drag this layer into my new document. Now we have the opposite problem here. This is a lot larger than um, the face was. I'm going to hold down Command-T and holding down shift I'm just going to resize this um, so that it um, is, is sort of you know the, the right dimensions. Now I want the photograph to come in uh, about there so I'll just leave it there and hit enter. Now what you're going to notice now is that um, this is actually overlapping onto the back of my cover. Uh, what I've neglected to do over here in the layers palette is actually put these two layers into um, the folder that I created for the front um, of our document. So what I'm going to do now is drag this into um, the folder that we created 
and um, now we're right to go. You'll notice if I move this layer around now using the move tool, which I can select by pressing V, um, I can, it, it's not going on to the back of our DVD cover. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is uh, once again apply a layer mask to this. I'm going to go to the uh, layers menu, layer mask, and I'm going to uh, once again reveal all because I like to see what I'm masking. I'm going to press G to select the gradient tool which has already um, got the settings that I used before and I'm going to hold um, the mouse down at the top of this and draw a line going down so it goes from black to white. Now I'm not entirely happy with that so I'm going to hold down command Z to undo that's control Z on a PC and just try again until I have a nice um, gradual change from uh, the trees to the face. Um, one thing I will do here actually is I'm going to select the move tool and move the entire layer down um, just a little bit like that. Okay, um, this is looking alright. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with this. Um, I might actually, um, holding down, uh, clicking on my top layer here and holding the shift key, I'm going to pick up these two layers and move the face down just a little bit so I have room for a title. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, two things I'm going to do now are um, add a couple of adjustment layers. Now these are really cool ways that you can um, change the colors in a photograph without changing them permanently and you can always go back and change an adjustment layer. It's a really cool and awesome way to work. So to start off with here, I'm going to go to the layer menu, go down to new adjustment layer and to start off with, I'm going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to hit OK here. And to start off with, um, I'm going to bring down the um, saturation um, on these images. And I'm going to take it down to about 60. So it's not completely um, black and white, but it's um, still got a little bit of color in it. And I'm going to hit OK. Now the next adjustment layer I'm going to um, put into this folder um, is um, a color balance adjustment. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, color balance. And I'm going to play around with the settings here until I get something that I like. Um, I'm sort of going to go for a, a green look. Now, um, that's probably a little bit vivid. Um, one of the things I'm going to try and do here is uh, change the blending mode of this green color adjustment that I've added. Now, what that does is changes the way that this um, adjustment layer interacts with the layers below. And I'm going to actually change this one uh, to hard light and just see what it does. That looks really, really awesome. It's starting to take shape now. Uh, and you can experiment with different blending modes. Um, I always find them a little bit unpredictable. Um, so I like to play around and, um, you know, see what uh, various blending modes do. But I really do like um, hard light in this instance. Okay, one of the other things that I'm going to do to this image, um, just to grunge it up a little bit, is take a concrete texture that I downloaded um, from the internet and um, overlay these images with that. Now I'm going to go to file once again and open and just have a look around for this concrete image. There it is. I'm going to open it up and as I did before I'm going to drag this image and drop it into my Photoshop document. Now I'm going to need to do two things to this image. Um, first of all, I'm holding down Command T to transform it and make it larger. And when I've got it to a, a you know a satisfactory size that's covering up the entire front cover, I'm going to hit Enter. The second thing I'm going to do to this layer is to desaturate it, um, because what I'm going to do is change the blending mode of this so it starts to um, interact with the layers below and sort of um, give them a bit of texture. But in doing that, if the image has a lot of color in it, it's also going to change the nice green hue that I've got going there. Um, so what I'm going to do is 